Hi everyone, my name is Dave Luza and in this video I will talk to you about the latest expansion for Great Western Trail Rails to the North. I love Great Western Trail, it is one of my favorite games ever and I'm very excited that we have new stuff that uh, we can play with in this game. Well, in the base game, at some point, people will say, oh yeah, under certain circumstances, the cow strategy is the best strategy. Now, I don't feel that that is so, but a lot of people do. And this expansion brings on new ways without nerfing any of the previous strategies. And that is something that I really like. It opens up more ways to make points and, and different ways to play the game. So in this video I will be talking about the expansion and I'll show you how to play and how to set it up so that might help you as well. First off you'll notice that there is a game board extension and it might look a bit weird but it fits nice and snugly on top of the game board. So it blocks off the top of the game board but gives you new options above that. Now this doesn't change anything about the route that your train will be taking. You'll still bring your cows to Kansas and from Kansas on you try to deliver them as far as you can to get the most points or maybe get some other perks that you want. But what you will notice is that you've got a whole new world of options right there and that is what this expansion is all about. When you set up the game, each player will receive 15 of these little houses, branchlets they are called, and you put them on your new personal extended player board. It looks like this. It's made out of cardboard and not out of thick paper like your base player board. Yeah, kind of annoying that it's not the same material, but what can you do? So you put those houses in a rows of three on top of this board and you'll be able to build those houses if you use the auxiliary action that is connected to that board. It says you right here at the beginning of the game you will block off one of them but the other one will be right there. And what does it do? Well this auxiliary action tells you that you can get rid of a two card from your hand, you put it on the discard pile, your own discard pile, and then you can build one of those branchlets on the board. Not anywhere, no. It always has to be adjacent to a place that you've been before. So at the beginning of the game, we all have been to Kansas. I guess we haven't yet at the beginning of the game, but you can start building from Kansas. And from then, always adjacent to those branchlets that you have built, following the tracks. Now, there are some switches, so you can choose where to go, which is very nice. Later in the game, you will have been visiting different cities and the moment you've got one of your markers on one of those cities, then you can also start building those branchlets from, from that point on. The spaces you build those branchlets on all come with, in, in different forms. They are representing different kinds of cities, small towns, um, train station cities, uh, bigger towns, and they all come with perks. Well, some of them also come at a cost, but you'll notice that when you look at the game board. When you are building your branchlets, like I said, you'll probably get a perk for it. There are different kinds of cities that you're building your branchlets in. One of the perks you could get is an exchange token. You also start the game with it, that's new. At any point in the game, the rules say even during your opponent's turn, I don't know why that would be important, but it says you can draw two cards and get rid of two cards. So you're making your hand perfect for whatever goal you have. If it's just, if you're entering Kansas, oh, very quick, hopefully, and maybe now I can get those, those good cows that I need to get more points for that. Uh, so they come really handy and you get them at certain points uh, on this extended player board by building your branchlet. You can only build one of the branchlets in one different city, so you cannot stock up on them. You have to move on. Another perk you will be able to get is those city tiles. You'll put them on the board and shuffle them. There are 10 in the game and you only use, I think, six, yes. And they give you a perk. When you build your branchlet in one of those cities, you can get three movement steps for your train. Or how about 
removing two cards from your hand. Removing them from the game, putting them back into the game box is a good way to get rid of those pesky one cows. Another perk that you might get is you can open up a station that you can deliver your cows to. And this is where the game for me starts to get really interesting. Because if you put a branchlet in Denver, which will cost you, well, if you're the first one, it will cost you one coin or maybe two or maybe three, then you can deliver your cows to Denver. And that means with only a worth of eight for your cows, you can build a black bordered city tile that opens up so much more new ways of playing. You can get an extra cow card in your hand or maybe get your movement up that fast. That is a huge advantage. And, but like I said, branchlets always have to be adjacent to either another branchlet following the train tracks or uh, starting out from cities you have already visited, you have already delivered cows to. Another thing to mention is that San Francisco used to be the city that was most profitable to deliver your cows to. That is no longer the case. No, uh, at the end of this track now is New York City. And building there not only gives you three points, but you can also get one of the leftover station tiles. So that is another option for you and not another way to, to get more points. Um, San Francisco is still on the board, but it moved west again. So easy. <laughs> uh, you still need to have a worth of 18 cows to deliver to San Francisco, but you first have to put a branchlet on it before you're allowed to do that. So that's interesting. I remember the last game I played, I was already I was so fixated on delivering to San Francisco. I had an assignment that said it, but then I figured out, no, I don't have a branchlet there. And I had no branches left, so I could not deliver it to San Francisco. The points you get for San Francisco is different as well. It says once you have one of your markers here and you can have multiple, then you don't automatically get points. No, you first look at your player board where you stack your branchlets at the beginning and for each bell that is visible you will get two points so it could be worth 10 points each time you deliver but then you have to make sure that everything is in order and that you have a branchlet in San Francisco should you have cows in worth of 20 points then you can bring them to Montreal which will give you a whooping 15 points but of course you need to have a previously built a branchlet there. Let me see, is there any other cool stuff that I just forgot to mention? Uh, well, you start off with one auxiliary action on your own player board and the other one is still, uh, of course, locked. But when you choose to use that marker on, uh, on one of the cities when you're delivering cows, then of course you have two of those actions. It just comes at a one-time cost of two coins. So from that moment on, you can give up two cows in worth of two to put two branchlets on the map. So anything else? Yes, there are more station tiles and you all know how you will be able to get those station tiles be, uh, by using one of your personnel uh, tiles and, and put them on that station uh, spot. Then you'll get this tile, which all come with a one-time perk and points at the end of the game. So you'll just have to look at all the symbols. It's very, uh, very clear what they mean, at least to me. I did not have any big questions, but the rule book will, will give you those specifics. A funny thing, when I opened up my game box, I found that they put in black player uh, cubes, branchlets for the, the color black, but of course black is not a player color in Great Western Trail. So they provided a little excuse me note and of course the white pieces in a separate bag. I thought that was funny. So that's it, Great Western Trail, Rails to the North. I love this game. I hope you now know if you are gonna get it. Uh, Essen is around the corner and it will be available there, but from that moment on, I would think that it will be available all over the world. I love it, it really expands the game in different ways. 
and let me know what you're gonna do in the comments. Thanks for watching. My name is Dave Luza. Bye.